Today we're going to be talking about T-Mobile 5G home internet service and specifically we're going to be talking about this brand new method on how to turn off the Wi-Fi bands. So there's going to be no downloading any zip files from Pastebin, there's going to be no running PowerShell scripts like we previously had to do. This is a very fast, efficient, simple method and it will work with any of the gateways that T-Mobile currently offers. So it doesn't matter if you have the Nokia, the Arcadian or the Sagemcom, this will work. So. Let's show you what you need to do. So before we actually do anything, you're going to want to make sure that you have the capability to keep whatever device you decide to use connected to your network. Um, so we're going to be using an Android phone and the setup that I currently have because I already have my Wi-Fi turned off using the Nader Tater uh, PowerShell script is I'm already using a third party router and so I'll be connected to the third party router's Wi-Fi. Um, during this video showing you that I can turn the factory Wi-Fi on my T-Mobile gateway on and off through the application. Now if you're just starting out and you don't have the third-party router hooked up, you could hook it up, connect to that router's Wi-Fi and then proceed with what we do in the video. Or if you don't want to do that and you want to turn the Wi-Fi off um, just because you don't want to use it, or before you hook your router up, you can get a dongle that's like this that you can connect to your phone. It's just a single Ethernet adapter to USB type C or whatever your phone may use or you could get they have other ones that have more ports but ultimately it has the Ethernet built into it uh, but the point is you need to find a way to keep your device connected to the network during this process if you're just trying to turn it off initially um, it should work over Wi-Fi but you won't have a way to turn it back on like the app won't have a way to connect to the gateway once we've turned it off so just something to keep in mind. Okay, so just to show you what we're looking at here, this is the GitHub web page for the application that we're going to be using, and it is called Hint Control App. That is H I N T Control App. And it is offered on multiple platforms, which you can see here. So they got Android, Windows, Mac OS, Linux, iOS. Um, for some of these, you're going to have to do some kind of side loading, and I don't want to mess with that. Uh, the point of this is for it to be easier. And um, sometimes when you side load, you, you can mess stuff up, especially if you're, you're doing it on an iPhone. So for the purposes of the video today, we're going to be focused on the Android application because that's available in the Google Play Store. So moving over to the Android device for this, uh, we're going to open up the Google Play Store and we're just going to search for Hint Control App. And then it is actually the fourth one down here. So as you can see, it's this one right here. So we'll select that. And then uh, this is in early development. So this is a beta version of the app, which you can read about right here. We're gonna go ahead and just click the install. Okay, so the application's installing. And once this is done installing, we're just gonna go ahead and click on the green open button. And you can see here that it's actually asking for a username and password and the username is already filled in as admin. Now you're going to get this information off of the back of the router or gateway. Now you really want to make sure that you're using the admin username and the ad admin password, not the Wi-Fi name and the Wi-Fi password. And it looks like this, at least on the back of the Sagemcom gateway. If you use the Wi-Fi one, it won't work. So once you get all logged in, you will see a bunch of information displayed that looks like this on the home screen. And we are looking for the Wi-Fi logo at the bottom. So we're going to click that and it's going to take us to band management. So as you can see here for 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz, I have them both turned off because I did the Nader Tater uh, PowerShell script and that's how I have mine turned off. But just for the purposes of this video, I'm going to um, get my iPhone out and then I'm gonna show you that it is currently turned off. So what we're looking for is this T-Mobile 90B1 to populate in my Wi-Fi. Um, and you can see that right here. And then on the left side of the screen, you can see that in my Wi-Fi, there are no available connections with that name. If we go ahead and toggle both the 2.4 gigahertz radio and the five gigahertz radio on, and then we click save at the bottom and we will see if it populates. So let's go ahead and refresh my connection on my iPhone. 
and we'll see if it pops up and boom, there it is. So as you can see, it worked. So it was previously turned off. We just turned it on and we didn't have to do any kind of hacking. We didn't do any kind of crazy PowerShell scripts. It was all just touch and go from within this application. So now let's go ahead and toggle off the 2.4 gigahertz and the five gigahertz bands and save it. And then just to make sure we get a good refresh instead of swiping down to do the refresh, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, back out really quick and then click back on my Wi-Fi settings. And as you can see, the, the bands have been turned back off. So it doesn't get any easier than that. And that about does it for this one. Make sure you hit me up in the comments and let me know which T-Mobile home internet gateway that you're using this application with. And if you tested any of the other methods that we didn't necessarily cover in this video. So we covered using this on an Android device, but it is offered across multiple platforms, which I did not showcase in this video. And let me know if you had any issues using it, whether it was on Windows or Linux, Mac OS, you name it. Uh, also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And that about does it for this one. Peace.